What is the one thing that fuels the human body? What is that one thing we work for? What is that thing living organisms cannot survive without? Yes, it's food. And where do you think we get food from? Plants and animals? Yes, both these provide us with food and food in turn gives us energy. How do we get food for ourselves? Do plants grow by themselves? Or is it that animals wander about and provide us with the food we need for living? As we know, this isn't really the case. We grow plants and rare animals to get our basic requirements of food. Growing plants is better known as agriculture and rearing of animals is known as animal husbandry. Now let me ask you an important question. People speak of improving agriculture and animal husbandry. They also talk of techniques that help us increase productivity of the land. Rich fodder is provided to animals so that they give more milk. What are all these efforts aiming at? What is the need to do so? The answer is pretty simple. We need to improve our food resources in order to meet the growing needs of human beings. We also need to remain healthy and strong with a better supply of nutrients. Better? Increasing needs? What am I exactly hinting at? It is quite known to us that the number of human beings is on the rise daily. The demand for food is ever increasing. In such a situation, what do we do? Can we keep cutting down trees for food? Do we have enough land for cultivation? The answer is a big no. So what is the only way out? We can use intensive techniques of agriculture and cattle rearing. What do I mean by intensive? We use a small land to its fullest. We have several crops grown in a span of one year. We also add nutrients and reuse the same piece of land. But wait, haven't we already begun all this? Aren't humans creating techniques to have an intensive yield from a piece of land? Yes, we are. But even after such techniques, we are not able to provide enough for the growing population. There is shortage of food and other resources. People are poor and cannot afford to buy the grains stored in our granaries. Let us look at the other side as well. Aren't we damaging the environment while we are using a piece of land several times? Fertilizers damage the crops and the organisms in the soil. Other intensive techniques too damage the environment. What will we be learning in the topic improvement of food resources? We would mainly be looking at improving food production but at the same time not damaging the environment. 